Merry Christmas! December has been a wonderful month. It did start a bit sad. The news that I wouldn't be able to attend the WPBA's final season tournament was a bit depressing. And Christmas kept making me feel better. Like the day I had a boring business meeting in Dallas, but when I got home, away from home, at Bob's Steakhouse in Grapevine, for my usual massive steak, and instead I got invited to be in the Christmas parade. I had never been in a parade. I was in a Christmas decorated classic vehicle, doing my princess wave and wishing people Merry Christmas. Once again, Grapevine lives up to the notion that it's the Christmas capital of Texas. <laughs> Sometimes Christmas makes me feel sad since I was born into a broken family. But this year, it made me feel much happier. I baked and gave away a ridiculous amount of cookies and panettone, and I gave away an absurd amount of jewelry a Santa Claus, mostly on Main Street. Had three wonderful Christmas dinners with new and old friends. I also tried to film my progress of shooting left-handed for you guys, but it failed. Well, I'm not there yet. Do I still win against regular people most of the time? Yes. It's pretty frustrating to suck, but I'll keep plugging away. As some of you know, my right hand is not 100%. As a kid from martial arts, I got a boxer's fracture that never healed properly because of lack of medical care. It's been a struggle since, but much more since I joined the WPVA. I play very well despite of it. For example, it did not affect me when doing trick shots or as much playing with regular people as in exhibitions or charity events. As many know, I make the bulk of my money from doing appearances and giving lessons. But playing against other pros is quite a different matter. In my right hand, it's a hindrance. My recent health problems, which started in February, magnified this slight handicap. So I started working on shooting left-handed for Provence. I'm not there yet, but I'm making progress. It's a bit slow. On the pro tournament side, I'm also moving away from billiards. And what I mean by that is away from nine ball and more into snooker. Snooker has a place in my heart that nine ball does not. All those snooker money games I did as a kid live in my heart. <laughs> So as soon as I'm good enough at snooker, it will be wonderful to visit Europe more consistently. I'm looking forward to seeing all the family motherlands. As some of you know, I'm pretty much every kind of European, like most Americans. I'm particularly looking forward to spending time in Italy, the UK, Spain, and of course, France. Maybe even Germany for next Christmas. Wish me luck. For those who keep asking, I'm not 100% well yet, but I'm getting there. Thank you for caring. And Merry Christmas!